Good afternoon, Sean. New Hampshire State Police said a truck removed from the bottom of the Indescoggin River Tuesday is a major break in a decades-old case. New Hampshire State Police investigators confirmed a 1996 Ford Ranger discovered a few miles south of Enroll Village was the same vehicle driven by Tony who disappeared in Enroll in July of 1998. Skeleton remains found inside the cab of the truck have been sent to the medical examiner's office for positive identification. July 1st, 1998 was the last day a then 26-year-old Tony had been seen after attending a horseshoe tournament at Billy's Seafood. Witnesses reported seeing Tony leave the restaurant in his girlfriend's 1996 Ford Ranger truck. After several days of not hearing from him, families and friends contacted New Hampshire State Police to file an official missing persons report. It was unknown at the time if Tony had traveled south on Route 16 or west on Route 26. For years, searches were conducted by air, ground, and by the New Hampshire Fish and Game Dive Team in the areas along the Andescoggin River and Lake Gallater, located in Dixville, New Hampshire. Earlier this month, Fish and Game Divers contained their search to an area just south of Enroe Village, and he is sonar imaging to search content at the bottom of the river. One sonar image was consistent to a truck similar to the missing Ford Ranger. In fact, that would later be confirmed up upon further analysis. Tuesday recovery teams removed the truck from the river and notified Tony's family members of the discovery. Reporting live here in the WMUR newsroom, I'm Riley King for WMUR News 9. Sean, back over to you.